I should have known, dude. Well, first things first. I so said we're going to go to Corinthia. So we can just go. What's this? Yeah, we can. I wonder if we can. Where Where is this? Okay, that's Megadies. So we should be able to go down. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's go to the temple here. And then we're gonna... We're gonna head downwards into Corinthia. There's so much to do in this game though, it's ridiculous. So I discovered a word, I didn't know this word, but it describes a fear that I have that I've been dealing with for years. And I've been dealing with this fear since I was a little girl. And the first time I really acknowledged that I had this fear was when I um, was playing Banjo-Kazooie. I think it was, I think it's the second Banjo-Kazooie game. Um, there's a part, it could be the first, but I can't remember, it's been years. But there's a part where you have to dive into this open, like this open pool of water. You enter, you, you get to the, this cave, and then when you go to the cave, there's this pool of water that you have to dive into. And I couldn't do it. That was when I had to just stop the game. I couldn't do it. I literally was terrified of whatever was in that the bottom of that water. So it's a fear I discovered. Um, I forgot what the guy said. It's called that. That's the lassophobia or something like that. But it's pretty much like the fear of diving into murky gorgos. Okay, yeah. That's the ruler. I, I helped him out. I helped him um, become the ruler of Megadies. But yeah, um, the, the fear that I have is that lassophobia or something like that. Where it's literally the fear of the murky depths of water. Or like open oceans of water, and I've had this fear as a little in real life as a little girl. Um, I remember I went to camp, and the instructor was like, "Go in the water, you know, get in the pool." And I was freaking out. I was screaming. I was crying. I was hollering. I could not step in that pool because the pool that they wanted us to go into, the bottom of the pool, Gaia. The bottom of the pool was wooden and it was dark wood. So when you look in the pool of water, you can't see the bottom. And I was freaking out. I was like, I can't do it. And I think I made it like the very beginning, like when just when you step off the stairs. And I was in, I was freaking out. I was crying. I was, and they had to like just lift me out of the water. <laughs> and that was when I was like five. So I've always had this fear. I've always had this fear. And now that this Assassin's Creed, the Odyssey, Odyssey the water is so detailed and there are literal whales and sharks at the bottom and I can't do it. I really can't do it. I cannot dive in this water. I didn't have that much of a fear in, in Origins just because they didn't really have like, it, I mean, I guess it had like animals, but they were mostly surface animals like crocodiles, hippopotamuses, you know, things like that. This water has whales in it. And I think the whales are harmless to you. They're not going to kill you. But I can't do it. I'm not going to die. <laughs> I just can't. The last sound Gaia the cackler's victims heard before they died was her laughter. Those who watched from a distance said her laugh was soft at first. Small giggles slowly rising in loudness before they burst into a maddening howl. Okay. So she's pretty much a terrifying beast of a woman. Now, my Alexios is here. Yeah, I, I killed this fool. But my Alexios is here in tier 7. So I worked my way up from tier 8 to tier 7. Now, what is this? War contracts and bounties provide 20% more XP, drachme, and crafting materials. Oh, that's excellent. This dude, I'm trying to find him and I can't. Calipos. I want to kill him. And what's this? 
Blacksmiths also reduced the price of their engraving services by 50%. What's this? Fearful sponsors removed their bounties for 20% less. Okay. A professional carpenter now works on the Adrestia, reducing the cost of ship upgrades by, by uh, 50%. This, this is the tier I really, really want. Oh, I want that tier so bad. <laughs> but I'm in tier 7. So, this is where I am. And, like, look at Alexios. He looks so good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, whoops. So, yeah, this is going on. Who's this? Who the hell is that? Perdix. Oh! Oh, it's a brother man. Perdix never had a place to call home. He never knew his mother or his father, but he knew the winding roads he traveled like family. He learned to identify poisonous herbs and how to build elaborate shelters. When he had to make a living, becoming a roving mercenary was a role he took to naturally. And apparently he has some kind of beast with him. He travels with a wolf. He looks freaking badass, dude. He looks freaking good. Oh, wait, 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 Shut it up! <laughs> Shut it up! Oh, I can't kill that dude. No! No! Why did I change the freaking freaking thing? Can you go back, please? To find a girl, I'm going to Kuritia. Thank you. My god. get here so we'll actually change the marker okay I'm happy <laughs> because I was nervous I'm not even gonna lie to you let me see when that guy came rolling through I was like is he trying to cause damage like what's going on but we're good so I'm just gonna chill let Alexios and Phobos travel. Anybody try to roll up, we squaring up, period. Another one? Dude! Who's this? Philon the Compulsive. Philon the Compulsive was known for having rituals he refused to break lest he get the sinking feeling Hades himself would swallow him whole. Wake up, shine his blade, sink his blade into an unsuspecting victim, shine his blade again, repeat daily to keep his inner demons at bay. Okay. He's a, he's a psychopath. All right. Careful. Don't yeah. Yo, he's like literally looking at me too. Like, I cannot believe you just did that. <laughs> I cannot believe you just did that to me. I don't know why that fool wouldn't move. Corinth, the city of pots, prostitutes, and not much else. Wow. All right, thank you, Phobos. <sighs> so 
So Carinthia is known for hoes. Nice to know. <laughs> nice to know. It's a beautiful city though. Look at all this pink. You know, pink is my color. I wear pink on a daily basis. I don't think there's anything I own that... No, I have... I have pink clothes to uh, suit every single day. What are you doing, ma'am? All right. Uh, the Hitare are, are well known in the Pernayan districts. All right, Phobos! Phobos! Listen, I need to stop talking and um, calling me out my name because I know that's what they're doing. You, 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 right in, you, you went right into the horse. I don't know if that's what you were trying to do, but that's what you did. You went right into the horse. When you jump, you should be jumping away from the horse. Just a pro tip. Gibiadi sent the Atera here to help me find my mother. I should look around for Antusa's whereabouts. Okay. Where is it? Oh. Who are you? Are you Anthusa? Me? Anthusa? I could be anyone for you, lamb. I charge less than the Etera. But do I ever know my way around the hay bed? So her name means something to you? Anthusa? She's been around forever, but I never met her. I know the Etera all work as one, on equal footing. But Anthusa's special. She talks. They listen. I haven't met any Hetera yet. The unbelievable you hear. They sell what a lot of us sell in Corinth. But for them, it's not just about the flesh. They're merchants of a sort, streetwise. Can talk as nice as they look. Sounds like a good trade to work in. You don't want to be an Hetera? Not in my prime anymore, am I, Mistios? By the time I study what they did, I'll be serving clients on my deathbed. If the Hetera aren't here, where are they? Their swords are too high and mighty to be down here in the dirt with us. You want them, you'll find them upon the hill, the Acrocorinth, by the temple keeping Aphrodite's worshippers satisfied. Okay, okay, so she was last seen south of the Akokorith. Whatever she said. Um. Ah! Oh, there. Okay. So I was like, what? So it has to be this. Who is this? What is that? Who the hell is that? Okay, so we should go there, this way. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry, little thing. Wait, who? Oh, this is the leader's house. Oh, what? Hope no one notices me here. I don't have no beef with y'all. Just leave me alone. What are you doing? Ale Alexios, what are you doing? Yeah, like what? What's happening? Look at that little deer! Well, big deer. <laughs>
What what is in here? Wolves. Cave cave of the dead wolves. Okay. So she's supposed to be south. She's supposed to be south of the, uh... Okay, alright, what? <laughs> okay, there's something over here, though. I want to discover it really quick. And then make my way. Making my way downtown, walking fast, face is passing, I'm homebound. What's this? What is this? Fire's pick fun? Who's talking? Oh! Some, some dudes over here. Okay. I was wondering, like, who is speaking? What's this? Handle with care? We're gonna go up there. Um, it's gonna be a long ride. Oh! And uh, I never did get to say, because I've been busy, but on Thursday, I actually did get a um a betta fish beta fish betta fish whatever and i named her bodice <laughs> based on arthur's horse from red dead redemption 2 the one that he loved but he lost and um so bodice has been with us for a couple of days and she's doing well he's doing really really well i got a traditional A temple on top of the Acrocorinth. That's what I'm looking for. What the heck is that? Yeah, um... But yeah, he's, um, doing really well. I got a male betta fish. And... I got- I'm happy. He's in a three and a half gallon tank. And, uh, he has a heater. Got the food for him. What I do want to get um, is some blood worms. I don't have any freeze-dried blood worms for him just yet. And then I was wondering if I should get a tank mate for him. Possibly a little catfish. Someone was saying you should get like ghost shrimp. But shrimps kind of freak me out in real life. Um, <laughs> shrimps are delicious, but the way they look in real life freaks me out. So I'm not sure I'll, I'll get one of those. And then people were saying that you don't actually see them, like they're kind of invisible looking. And I was like, oh no. So if they die or whatever, you're not going to see them. I was like, oh, that's a little too much. So <laughs> I think I might just get like a baby catfish. Something small and cute that will keep um, the tank a little clean for me. But I'm going to try and do weekly water changes. Not a full 100% water change. I think they said you should do at least like 10% water changes. So, yeah. But I'm really happy. Um, I've been wanting a betta fish for a long time. So I'm, I'm, I'm super happy that I, I finally have one. Um, and he's doing well. He's, he's living his best little life. He eats well. I try to feed him once a day, and I think on Wednesdays. Wednesdays are the days I'm gonna do the the, the change the um, water changes. So I don't think I'm gonna feed him on a Wednesday. You know, because they, I think with um, better fish, they have very small um, digestive systems, and they can't handle a lot of food. Oh yeah, this is gorgeous. Wow. This is absolutely stunning. You know, this game is absolutely gorgeous. But, um, yeah, so I think I'm going to, like, fast him on Wednesdays. But some people, apparently some people fast their, their better fish, like, for a full week. And I think that's kind of, like, inhumane. I know I wouldn't want to start for a whole week. So I don't want to do that to my little fishy. He doesn't deserve that, you know, he's a good guy. <laughs> Who do they think they are? I need to stop them. Oh. 
10 enemies using a rapid fire ability? Who are they? And why were they looking for the Terra? What the hell? Ah, uh, yeah! They think this temple is dedicated to them, the brutes. Uh, the thieves are here, and the Hetera aren't. The Etera? <laughs> They're much wiser than we are. They realized their visitors were all getting robbed on the way in. There's no avoiding the mongers' men in Corinth. <laughs> Who walks around with a name like the monger? Don't let him hear you say that. Last time his name came out of a fool's mouth, the man's tongue was sliced out. So the monger is a Corinthian criminal? Master of the underground markets. He rules with one hand open for money, and the other clenched around a weapon. A drachmi and blood-hungry monsters what he is. So he's hunting the Hetera. Huh. For money? Exactly. Since the Hetera bring in so much drachmi, he wants everything they control. The thieves are better off robbing them than us. If you know of the Hetera, then you know of Anthusa. I'm looking for her. They say she's... everywhere. Though I've never seen her. But the Hetera see everything. I've seen them gather by the spring of Pireni, down the mountain. They meet clients there and then take them elsewhere in secret. Good. Maybe pray to Aphrodite from home next time. We know we'll be enthusiasts. And apparently there's some jerk named the monger, kind of bugger or something. Don't worry, we're gonna solve all those problems. Because we're Alexius. We're G. Alright, where is she? Anthusa! No, it won't be unsure of it. Then they'll help? Everyone has something they want. My job is to figure out how much they'll give for that something. Then Corinth will be ours again. Very soon it will be turned to its rightful hands. Ah, so Alexios has finally found us. You know me. And you know her. This is Anthusa. We saw you help the worshippers at the Temple of Aphrodite. You've proven yourself a friend. Hear that, Icaros? Her sight's as good as yours. Someone also spoke very highly of you. Surprise! Phoebe! Aspasia sent me. I work for her now, remember? But why here? Corinth isn't safe. I had to tell Anthusa you were coming. Aspasia taught me a new word. Emissari. That's me. And now Alexios and I have met. See? This is easy. And now I can help you. I guess that'll be alright. Who knows what I'll get into. Yes! 
Just make sure you're extra careful. We need to move inside, Alexios. We're not the only ones watching. Come with me, and we'll talk. Can I come? As long as you're quiet. What do I owe your visit? Alcibiades told me about you. <laughs> Did he? Go on. I'm looking for a woman from Sparta. A runaway, long ago. She may have gone by the name of Mirini. Who's that? She's my mother. Your mother? You don't have a mother. Marcos told me he raised you. What did I tell you about talking? I see. There will be time to respond to your question, but that time isn't now. As long as you tell me what you know, sooner or later. You'll have to trust me. You don't get to where I stand without credibility. My word is yours. And you can always trust Alexios. Why don't you go play, Phoebe? Let me and Antusa talk. If you say so... I propose a trade. Help me. Help us get stronger. Strong enough to rid Corinth of the monger permanently. A simple transaction, I assure you. You have a deal. A wise decision, dear Mystios. I haven't made it this far being a fool. I know when to take a chance. Then we're in business. Now, you've heard of the monger? I heard about him after I killed his men. Seems he's famous in Corinth. For all the wrong reasons, his knife has shed much Corinthian blood. But that's just the way of commerce. The blood between us is bad. Then you've held your ground well. You're not dead. Not yet, anyway. But he's employed enough thugs to amass a small army. Now they're attacking people in the street, us included. He's been killing Hetera. Killing? We're smarter than that. But action must be taken before it goes that far. I'm not the only one who needs help. My girls, Damalis and Irina, are suffering too. More monger trouble. I wouldn't doubt it. Work against their aggressors, and then it will be his turn to suffer. You'll find Damalis here at the spring, but Irina has gone to Bellerophron's garden. What's wrong with Irina? She's looking for Cleo, another Etera, who's gone missing. I've been too distracted to help in the search. Has Damalis told you what's wrong? She hasn't told me much, but I know these girls as well as I know myself. Something's not right. I'll see what I can do for them. Good. The monger feeds his thugs. With a drachmi, he makes smuggling. Weapons, mostly. Which is all the more lucrative now that he has a war to supply. So, if someone interrupts the monger's supply, his men go hungry. Exactly. Go to his warehouse, in the port of Lecheo, and burn his cargo, all of it. We'll let Chaos take care of the rest. Why rob people who can't put two Zrakmi together, if he has a business? It's illegitimate, but gets him rich. Even the smuggling is a front. He steals slaves, innocents, who shouldn't be harmed, but his thugs can burn. Seems to me that burning his biggest source of income is asking for trouble. I want to put the new muscle I've acquired on show. Plus, violence is the only language he understands. I know many people who speak that language. Then the warehouse will be cinders. So you're here to help us, Mystios? You don't look like a monger spy. I'm more the in-your-face type. You have a monger problem, Damalis? I might. One of my regulars has... changed. He was a decent man once, but now... he's gone bad. Corinth seems to have a shortage of decent people. I need someone with muscle to figure out what's behind the change. Why he's different. 
Demolis is absolutely gorgeous. Oh my gosh! <laughs> He's gotten you scared. He asks me questions I don't know the answers to about our Drachmi. Where we keep money, what Anthusa invests in. As though we're Athenian aristocrats. Can't Anthusa intervene? I'm not naive. I won't expose the others to this. So he can go after them next? He might anyway. Sounds like he needs answers. Who was he before all this? Obsessive, but never threatening. He didn't stand out in symposiums until he had his Drachmi act for him. Well, something sure giving him courage now. I'll see what he has to say for himself. If he's not lurking around here, he'll be at his house. I want this to end today. It will. People tend to show their true selves to my spear, whether they like it or not. The deers always look like they want to square up and then they don't actually be about that life. And I'm like, you're a disappointment. <laughs> All right, we gotta try and get to this client. Jesus Christ! Oh, where is he? My goodness. Let me just take this. What was this? Philon. I'm just gonna... And then just head behind that because this is too much on this climate up and down Alexios, it's me, Alexios. Good, you found me. Shh, what are you doing here? I heard the Malis talking about her crazy client earlier, and I wanted to help. Fine, but you have to do as I say. No games. I know that already, because you never let me have any fun. I'm going to talk to Damalis' client and see what he has to say. I've been here, spying, and I heard him mumbling to himself. He's weird. But maybe if I tell you what he said, it could help? Let's hear it. Let me think. Um, he said something about having to meet someone at... Faye's pig farm, tonight. That could help. It could. Did he mention why? To get something from them. A deed to some land, I think he said. Well, that's something. What else? Oh, he said their name. Dinomenes. Wonder who that is. Good to know. Thank you, Phoebe the Spy. Not bad, huh? Time to act. Listen closely. You sneak inside and see what you can find in his house while I distract him. Quiet like a mouse. Good. But if you get caught, run. Right out the door. We'll meet afterwards. Promise? I'm ready. Let's go. Uh. <clears throat> 
Do I know you? No, but I know you. If Miron sent you, tell him I was going to pay him back this very night. No one sent me. We need to talk. I know you're up to something. Something? Something could be anything. You have nothing on me. You're meeting someone tonight, aren't you? At Freya's goat farm. A goat farm? <laughs> You'll find no goats at Freya's. Oh, I, uh... Wait! <gasps> Thief! Thieves! Get out! Guards! Get them! Time to die! <laughs> 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 I really wish I could have a do-over because the stupid time was going fast. I got nervous and I ended up pressing the wrong dang thing. I pressed the wrong thing. <laughs> what was all that noise? The Malis doesn't have to worry about her client now. That wasn't what she wanted you to do. I dealt with him, didn't I? No! At least I could sneak in, okay? 
Look. What does the letter say? It's mean. It says he'll get hurt if he keeps doing things wrong. I thought as much. And it says more. That he needs to bring the Malis to a place here in Corinth. There's directions. What do you think it is? Don't know. But I'll find out. Right behind you. Not this time. Go to the Malis and wait for me there. Oh, please. You've done enough for today. It could be dangerous. I'll come find you after. A place to bring the Malis. A prison? I should find out. Alright, where is it? I remember watching Brad play this mission, but I don't remember how the mission played out. Whoa. This must be the place described in the letter. Anybody home? Man, get off of me, dude. I'm trying to get out, dude. Damn. Oh, come on, people. Leave me alone. Get up! Go! Jesus Christ. This is annoying, dude. Get up there. Blood. Lots of it. Malaga. What is this? Chains. Oil. <coughs> This can't be what I think it is. A lock of hair. Smells familiar somehow. Gotcha! All right, you little shit. Who sent you? What are you doing here? I wanted to help. Give her here. Leave Phoebe. Now! Don't take another step. You're brave coming here. You want a whipping? The monger would love to take you up. He'd rot in the underworld for that. Prude, this is Corinthia. Anything goes in this sex, Andron. And the monger will be satiated. You're as sick as he is, worm. Yeah. Whether they like it or not, any victim he likes gets his special treatment. I'll tell him you volunteer. You'll get my special treatment right now. I'll fucking kill you. Kill him! Alright, you wanna play a game?
terrible. Terrible. So it seems like he wanted her. Oh, whoa. <laughs> it seems like he wanted her. He, he wanted that dude to bring her over there so she could end up becoming like his ex slave or something. Terrible. If Alexios won't stop getting caught up on things. Stupid as hell. Can you move away from me? Alexios, your little friend beat you back. You made it. And fast. I know all the shortcuts now. I'm sorry, Alexios. <laughs> It's all right. You had good intentions. I thought I could sneak in, like before. I'm glad you didn't, especially with what I found there. What happened to you? I just left the monger sex, Andron, if you can believe it. And it's where you were headed. No. It's true. Your client was being forced to take you there. And we found these. What does this mean? It means the monger got to him. He does have his hand in everything. At least I know how to deal with him now that I know what he's after. You won't have to. I took care of him myself. I told Alexios he shouldn't have. <sighs> it had to come to this. Malaka, what a fool he was. The monger's the real fool. He'll find that out soon enough. There's nothing scarier than the unknown. And you've protected me from it. Thank you. Well, we helped out the cutie. Now, there's one more, isn't it? Yeah. Follow that boat. No member of the Hirate would ever be left behind. Cleo had been kidnapped, and her desperate friend, Irina, would do anything to have her brought back to Corinthia's shores. A hundred dollars? A hundred dollars for what? What? Who the hell are you? Cologne. Boy, if you don't... Boy, if you don't... Get up on my face. Anyway. Or a hundred drop me. Making me pay money. I don't want to pay. Anyway, let's go over here. Has anyone seen Cleo? Hello, baby. By Aphrodite. Cleo better get back here soon. Maybe there's something a mercenary can do for you. How did you know I needed help? Anthusa told me you could use a hand. Cleo, one of our girls, didn't meet me for prayer this morning. She wasn't at home either. I'd go investigate, but I'm not sure what I could do on my own. She might have been taken. I asked around. One of our clients said he saw Cleo brought aboard the ship. The men were armed, so there was nothing he could do. I'd pay a lot of drachmi to get her back. Armed? Take me to the ship. We'll get Cleo back. Follow me. Who do you think took her? It wouldn't be the first time the Monger's men came after one of